I know sometimes you feel like the world, people around you don't have your back. You feel like when you're down, you're hearing all the negativity, you're hearing all the booze of the world, and there's nobody to help lift you up, to help bring you out of that slump, to help push you to the greatness that is inherently yours. I need you to understand that in this life, in this world, it really all starts with you. It all starts with you bigging yourself up. It all starts with you picking yourself up. It all starts with you lifting yourself up. I don't know how many times you've seen somebody stopped on the side of the road, cars broke down, maybe they ran out of gas. I know for me, if I'm driving, most of the time if they sit in their car, I'm gonna keep going. But in the same token, if you got somebody in the driver's seat, you got somebody back on the back of the car pushing, I'm way more quick to stop and help them push that car to get it where it's going. And most people are way more quick to stop and help them push that car where it's going because they see that person or those people trying to help themselves. I need you to become your own biggest cheerleader. Yeah, sometimes you got to get them pom-poms out. When the chips are down, you got to give yourself your own personal pep talks. Girl, you can do this. Bro, you can do this. You're unstoppable. You're unbreakable. Don't let them win. Right now, you're a little down and out. Right now, the chips are not in your favor. Right now, we're not where we want to be. But if we put one foot in front of the other, take it one step, take it one day, I promise you, we can come back and win. I don't know if you watch the, the football games or the basketball games. It's called momentum. And momentum swings in games, and momentum also can swing in life. How many times has a team been losing by 11, 12, they at home, and the crowd gets behind them? You know, rah, 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 all the noise they making them go to you, to you, oh you. And that energy becomes contagious and infectious, and next thing you know, Somebody from that team makes a big play. And then somebody else makes another big play. And then somebody else makes another big play. And before you know it, they've turned the whole game around. You got to do that for yourself. If you don't have people in your corner cheering for you, you got to be your biggest cheerleader. Because I promise you, when people see you cheering for you, when people see you loving you, that's when they jump on board. That's when they sprint over and come to your rescue. That's when they have your back. But it all starts with you being your own biggest cheerleader. You have to be the reason why you smile. You have to be the reason why you keep going. You have to be the reason why you keep glowing. You have to be the reason why you keep growing. You have to be the reason why you keep showing up and showing out. And if that's not enough then, you can tap into your why. Oh, my granny wants to see me winning. My daddy wants to see me winning. My mama wants to see me winning. My kids want to see me winning. Matter of fact, my kids are watching everything I do. And I'm teaching them how to react to life. I'm teaching them how to respond to life. I'm teaching them how to become their own biggest cheerleaders while I'm cheering for them right now. So do yourself a huge favor. Be proud of who you are. And never ever ashamed at how somebody else sees you. Today, it's all about team you. So say, give me a M, give me a E, and it's all team me today. And once you start cheering for you and you screaming loud from the rafters, I can do this, I can, I will, I must, I promise you, you will find yourself climbing over that hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. It's Team U, all the way to the championship. Because this is a great day to win. Let's go.